Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. It's your host, well, not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, today, look at this mess. Look at this mess. I've been doing some work, as you can see, and also been buying some more stuff. I'm starting to get like peanut on buying this stuff this stuff but our loan is 660,000 come on button uh, let's go over to here oh 690,000 chickens doing okay they can a day or two might need some food uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleared off as you can see fertilizing all the way down to here completed all the way up so let's get uh septonies actually i didn't have to borrow that much i could have just uh went ahead and done this but i wanted y'all to see this and that's all the rest of them just sewing and still some cultivating so yeah Brings us up to a, a hundred and five thousand. Woo! That was a lot of money on the contracts. But anyway, let me fly over. We we got a new John Deere skid skid loader, and we got one more piece of equipment that it's raining, and I'm not going to bring you out. But I will show it to y'all. This is all the stuff I got cut. This I just been going crazy on these trees that just all with chainsaw just chainsaw and that's about it I, I haven't used this yet and we're going to do that here in a minute but let me land my drone and we'll go over here all right no, no that's just her pickup truck well we're going to run over here real quick here we go. I know the seeds is old. I loaded it up on the trailer, but anyway, here's our new trailer. Uh, load trail. Pretty neat. It's got the auto load feature and all that. But uh, what? Why did I buy that for? You know? Well, one for the chickens, the eggs. Uh, as soon as that gets full, we're gonna load it on the trailer and go. And we're going to take this thing back to the market too when we go somehow or another. Uh, I don't think we'll ever need it. But I did buy one more piece of equipment. And no, it's not the semi truck. It's the Grizzly. Well, again, I'm a ha ha Grizzly. They had uh, blue, lime green, red, and uh, of course camo. That blue was too bright for me, so I just went ahead and uh, went with the camo. And I got uh, the tune package on it. <gasps> oh, trying to get on it. Lizard tune. Listen to this baby purr. Uh, the gun came with it, <laughs> but uh, can't really see it there. Anyway. This baby will run, and it will pull that trailer that I just bought, too. So, that's got the power. Looks like a 12-gauge, maybe? I know it's a pump shotgun, but I don't know it's, it could be a 410 or 12-gauge or, or, or something like that. Pretty nice, though. Anyway, we got to get to work. We got to get to work. We got to get to work. <sighs> um, let's go over some stats real quick, okay? Um, going to check the eggs. The eggs at 130, 134, and this is just kind of a, a reference. We need to get some sheeps. Um, milk prices, we, we need to get some cows. Wood chips is 175.17. 
uh, cellars. But uh, like I was saying, I can make that hay. But uh, this is what I mean. I actually want to show you is this one. <sighs> I don't have cotton on here. It's got it there, but I don't have it here. I I'm thinking we probably can still plant it. I'm going to plant like on the ninth and maybe on the, the fourth. Whenever this turns white. Or, you know, a temp gets past 61 degrees. But you see over here, we start getting 66, 67, 83. So, I think that we can do cotton. I'm going to try it anyway, a little test. But you see today, rain. Rain. And Sunday, cloudy. Monday, Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Thursday rain again. Maybe Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, we'll get a chance to do some hay. If not, I guess the only thing I'm going to do is do a lot of this uh, wood off screen and go from there. We got some wood chips in here already. Lift this up. Yeah, my wipers. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start right here. Bye. But I just need to get this stuff cleaned up. And don't forget it, folks. I can't remember what episode I said it on, but I'm wanting to do a live stream for about 30 minutes, but I want to do like a Q&A live stream. So don't forget to leave your questions down below. Um, I still got about three more videos that I need to edit and render and upload, but uh, I, I just can't remember which video I done that on. But just in case I'd forgotten, didn't do it, um, just letting y'all know. Leave your comments down below and ooh, that lighting the place up, and uh, I'll do that here in the next week or two or somewhere along in there you know i don't know exactly when i'll do the live stream but i am planning on doing one raise that up a little bit try and get all these little uh little bitty ones up out of the way so we can bring the semi down here and go ahead and get this stump here But let me get some of this cleaned up, and I will bring you back when I'm a little bit closer to done, because I don't want you all getting bored on this. I need to get me a trailer over here, too, so things starting to get a little heavy. But yeah, I'll bring you back in a second. That way, uh, you all see what it looks like kind of cleaned up, and... Uh, I'll uh, blow the truck up and show you all that and stuff when I come back. So, be back in a second. Alright. Trying to get Lassie's logs up by the truck. Cause it, as you can see, I can't really bring the truck down here. Afraid it'll tip over. Now, this little baby just... It, it, it's okay. As long as it's not under a strain. But going up here, I just kind of don't want to. That's not supposed to be for heavy forestry anyway, right? And plus, I probably got buried in the ground, too. Come on, baby. Oh. And the hydraulics are slow. I got to find a way to turn the hydraulics up or get us a bigger one here later on or something. It does pretty good once you get on level ground, but and you see there how slow the hydraulics are. That is that's a little bit too slow. I see. I don't know if that's a stump or piece of log got cut up too thin. 
Like it. There's this piece of love. Okay. Did not give it a big old toss. Yeah. Oh. I just can't do that like I used to. That's up our close by. So we got one, two, three, and then back over there, and I think we're done. The way it looks. Yep. So, in case y'all are new and you don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to come in here with probably a bulldozer or something and level this out. Maybe get a few loads of dirt or something. But we're going to level this out. Not too far because I don't want this too steep to cause some kind of rain wash off or something. But we're probably going to put about four more grain bins up beside here and down there on that end. Here, let me just fly my drum real quick. Probably right in there, probably be nothing or might be something for the cows or something. But over in here, be some grain bins. Or on this side, it might be grain bins. And right in here, we can park like our headers and stuff we can't park inside a shed that's too big. Uh, Find a way of getting all this mess cleaned out. A lot of scrap metal there if I could go sell it. But I'm wanting to bring the trees. I might go a little bit further than this tree here. But for now, we're going to stop there. But I might bring it on out a little bit more. That way we might have something down through here like another shop or something. Or a lean-to. Like a big shop we can... Parker equipment under. We might put one of them here or something. We can get it to fix. But it's been non-stop raining. And I'm, I'm about tired of this. I think I'm going to go in the house. And just. Well I'm going to haul this load off. And probably get these stumps right here cleaned up. I want to put some more on the truck. But I think. I'm going to bring y'all back here in a little bit. I'm going to let the rain Y'all hear that thunder? Yeah. Oh, by the way, my drone's waterproof. I wish it was in real life. But anyway, I will bring y'all back in a minute. I'm going to get some of these stumps up, get this uh, good warm tractor here, and get some of this stuff up. So, yeah, I will be back in a second. All right. I made it down here with the truck and the wood chips. I'm going to go ahead and dump the wood chips. We was out hiring four thousand so see how much we can get out of this I'm gonna pay the loan off some matter of fact I'm gonna take it all up put it towards the loan and that way tonight the prices be uh ooh thirty six thirty five all right that's good I need to change the waypoints on these because we're not going to that one field no more so at least it gets it closer. And let's get over here and uh, show you this load. It's got all kind of things on it. One good thing I took the back roads. That's just, ooh, that's terrible. All right, let's see how much we get for it. Let's see if all it sells too. All right, 108, 119, 11. 1,821 for it. Bring this 119, 924. Not bad. Ooh, I don't want to go landscaping. I want to go. I also turn my vehicle arm sensitivity up. See if that would help that skid steer. I, I hope. All right. We're going to repay that down to the nitty gritty. 4,000 left. We're almost 5,000. Bring this down to 575. All right, let's go back to our, uh, I don't know why I closed out of that. Let's go somewhere on here. That would be close enough. Because I'm going to show y'all, I don't want to take out the mud and stuff, but I do want to show y'all. This thing's pretty neat. Get out of here without scratching it. 
pretty tight. All right, make sure ain't nothing coming. Wee! I love this thing. Got some good brakes on it too. All right, I want to just come out here a little bit and show y'all. Uh, don't know about Xbox and PS4 users, but PC users, you can hit F4 on the keyboard, brings this screen up, and you can pretty much see anything under the map. Uh-oh, hang on. Turn that down for a minute. Um, get right here and I'll show you. You can see the trees right there. You can see. Um, well, it's not going to let me do it. But you see. Pretty much right there. You can see like little logs standing straight up. That's the stumps under the ground. I'm going to hit F4 again to show y'all. See where the stumps are at? Then you hit that. And sometimes they'll cut off even with the ground. You can't see where they are. I had one over here do me that way. Let's go uh, drone down. And I'll come right here. So it's kind of hard to see that, but you hit F4. Bam! You see it underground. That's, uh, and that's the way you know the, you got a stump there. And if you got a stump there, you can't edit the train. So, but. But, uh, get the four wheeler here. We're gonna go down to our cabin down here. Whoa. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna park it right. Can I go out this way? Yeah, I think I can go out this way. We. Oh, I wish it would walk a wheelie. That'd be awesome. But right down here, <clears throat> y'all remember maybe an episode or two, maybe a couple more back, I had problems in this field. It wouldn't let me level it all the way because of the trees that was out there. Uh, where was that? Right here. Alright. I'm going to get right here and hit F4. I don't see no trees under this just the birds and uh, I don't know why I can't get it level so when we uh, harvest this field I'm gonna try to level this spot again but yeah nah, take this off well, folks that's all I got as you can tell it quit raining for a minute but look up there we got more rain coming so today is just not a weeding day. Now I might see if we got some more contracts, but I doubt it. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I'm going to slow time down and set those. Uh, yeah. We're going to do those fertilized missions. Uh, I'm going to do them off screen probably. They'll give us uh, a whole lot more. Let's open this thing at 86 mile an hour. I don't think I can do 86. Let's open this bad boy up. See what we can do. 39, 40, 44. It wasn't so rough. I probably could. 50. Pretty 60. Wow, well, we could get there. We had open. All right. That's our wheat field. The weeds are dead, thank goodness. We still ain't got no growth popping up out of the fields yet, so maybe a couple more days. Well, folks, that's going to be it. I'm going to get off here and do those fertilized missions. Work a little bit more on this woods up here. Just trying to get that bank loan paid off some. And uh, I will see y'all in the next episode, okay? Appreciate all y'all watching, supporting, and hitting that like button and bell button. I'll, 
it means a lot to me, folks. It really does. Um, I love each and every one of y'all a lot. And, and yeah, I can't say that enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I do have to go, so y'all have a great day. A blessed day. Now we'll see y'all later, okay? Bye.